the moment your iPhone leaves the box, you're gonna lose around 250 to 300 dollars. And that's because any electronic device depreciates, but iPhones especially lose their value pretty quickly as soon as they stop being new and as soon as a new iPhone comes out. So because I'm a numbers geek, I've sat down and estimated what the daily cost of owning an iPhone is. So there are two core variables that make you lose money daily when you own an iPhone. Number one is how much the iPhone depreciates, so how much the device loses value. And number two is the money that you have to pay for the plan. And that of course will change country to country, but we'll get to that. Let's talk first about device depreciation. Any iPhone will depreciate, will lose around 35% of its value in a year or when the new iPhone comes out. So if you buy your iPhone as soon as it comes out, you have around a year until it depreciates that much. Uh, if you buy it two months before the new iPhone comes out, you're gonna lose that 35% of value in just two months. By the second year, your device is gonna lose around 60% of its original value, and then 80% by the third year, or again, by the time a new iPhone comes out. Quite literally, your iPhone loses money every single day. So, some variables that also affect this. Uh, if you buy the top tier iPhone versus the mid tier iPhone, um, you're still gonna lose around 35% of the value in the first year, but that number translates very differently into dollars. So another variable here is what you plan to do with your device afterwards. If you plan to upgrade your iPhone and trade it in at Apple, uh, the value is a little bit less compared to selling that iPhone on eBay, for example. Now, I did this math myself. I studied the price of older generation iPhones uh, and what they are sold for on eBay and what they are traded in at Apple. Uh, in the first year, there is a big difference between what you get back from reselling your iPhone on eBay, for example, or trading your iPhone in. Uh, but after the second and third year, that number looks very, very similar. So if we take those numbers and simply divide them by 365, we're gonna get the actual daily cost of owning an iPhone. But it doesn't stop quite there. You still need to account for the cost of a plan. An iPhone is pretty useless if you don't have a plan. Now, the difference here is that depending on what country you live in, you might pay an average of $37 a month or so for a phone plan. That's if you live in countries like the US or Netherlands or the UK. Versus if you live in countries that have extremely cheap plans for phones and data, uh, where the average is around $3. So that accounts for India and Bangladesh and a few other countries. Plus, you have to account for iCloud. Um, Apple kind of forces you into having an iCloud plan these days. I'm gonna use 299, which I think is the average iCloud plan that most people will have. I'm on a 999 plan because I have a lot of photos, but I think that that's gonna be an exception. So take in these numbers and then divide them by 30 and then add them to the number that we just calculated. And that gives you a rough estimate of what your daily phone plan cost is. Notice how in countries like the US, the cost of the device, the money that you lose on the value of the device represents around 50% of the cost of owning an iPhone. But notice how in other countries like India, uh, the cost of the device itself is pretty much 80, 90%, the majority of the money that you have to spend. So in my spirit of transparency, here's what I expect my daily cost of owning an iPhone is. This daily cost of things is a little experiment I wanted to make, see what happens. I have a bunch of ideas of daily cost of things that I want to calculate. Um, I wonder if you'll be interested in hearing more. Or if you have ideas of stuff that you'd like me to calculate, just drop that in the comments. See you next week.